And Senior Burn, ladies and gentlemen, your groom today, Mr. Stephen Tennyson. I've been dreading this part of the day anyway. Never mind putting the rings on, this is this is a really shy part. Um, uh, first off, I'd like to say a big thanks to our distinguished guests, our not so distinguished guests, and those of whom who were invited to the evening do, but use their sisters plus ones to come to the main event. Sinead and Claire, you know, thanks, thanks very much for coming. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, uh, to be honest, I, I didn't really know where to start with this speech writing thing, so I just thought I'd check the internet, you know, and I trawled through for a couple of hours and I got some really good stuff. And I remember how speech to write. I lost, I lost valuable, valuable time there, like, so, uh, you know, uh, bear with me here, you know, it's as good as it gets here. Um, I'd like to, uh, first off, say a big thanks to everyone who came here today. I know for some years it was a long journey. Probably would have been a lot cheaper if he's having a bird, like, but uh, I'll not, I'll not hold it against you, like, you know. Seriously, though, uh, no, me and Ambri have been overwhelmed by the generosity he showed us over the past you know, couple of weeks, like, and I'd like to say thanks very much. I know it's hard times and all, like, so it makes it even better. And uh, at least, at least we can do give a wee bit of dinner and all the show for it, like, and uh, hang over tomorrow morning. Uh, so next off, I'd like to thank my parents for all the support they've given me over the couple of years. A uh, couple of years, uh, probably a bit more than that. Um, but uh, you know, uh, if it wasn't for their babysitting service, I'd be mean, on call 24 hours a day. You know, I wouldn't be half seeing today, like I'm saying something. And uh, bear with me here. Hey, um, aye, the groom's man. Groomsmen, good fellows, who followed the, the time, a uh, long time tradition that no man should look more handsome than the groom in the big day. So, uh, seriously, Shimmits, see, see just for that haircut, I owe you big thanks, big thanks, you know, fair play, but fair play to you. You know, you cut on, cut on to a team, I know, not, not many men would be big enough to do that, like, so fair play, tell them. And, uh, I'd like to say a big thanks to all, uh, Amri's family for making me feel so welcome during the, the couple of years we've been on it. Uh, these aren't jokes like it's just fucking, I'm fucking falling through this week here. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, it's, it's been interesting getting to know every single one of you. So, you know, uh, it's been grand. Like, the dirty boys, like, I'm not holding it against you. You know, you are not the bad, you're not a bad lot, you're not the worst. Couple of laws you can ask for, especially knowing you and Philip. Like. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Monsignor O'Byrne for uh, giving us such a lovely service today and um, just talking us through the whole thing. This is pretty important without you. I don't know where the hell I would have been. Like. <laughs> just in the long road or anything. Last of all, uh, I'd like to give a big thanks, or not that, last of all, uh, Mickey and the crowd in the Greenvale and just the photographers and the videographers who uh, followed us through the Greenvale for two hours. Like, you know, uh, thanks very much for that. I know it wasn't the most pleasant experience <laughs> trying to get a smile out of me and anyway, like, so, you know, uh, thanks very much for that. And uh, finally, I'd like to thank my wife, Anne Marie, who I must say looks especially beautiful today. Just everything you see around here is all down to her. Like over the past couple of months, it's just all been her. All I've done is sit around the house and look off the wings and eat caramel squares the past couple of days. Like, so, you know, she's the one that's next. Like, so uh, fair, fair play to Marie and you know, the bridesmaids are looking very well today, I must say. That's shout out to the bridesmaids. I know. Just a wee story about me and Amory, I suppose, and how we met. Uh, I think we met about 11 years ago in the cinema in Cookstown. I think it was Underworld or something like that we were watching. And um, anyway, she ran away before I got the curd. But, uh, 
kept saying, oh, my, my ma's waiting outside, my ma's waiting outside. And like, if I had a known that it was knowing waiting outside, no, I might have been just so keen to get in there in the first place. Like, I don't know what I was waiting for me. But, uh, uh, the past, the, the years we've known each other, like, Aubrey's just been an absolute rap for me, like, and um, she's listened to a lot of my yapping about university, exams, jobs. Jesus, you have the patience of a saint, I have to say, and two wins at the same time. She, you know, she's really had three wins the past three years, like, <laughs> after me. Like. And, uh, you know, the fact that I'm even standing here today is testament to how amazing this woman is, like. And, um, Amri, you're my best friend with benefits. Uh, I love you with all my heart. And I intend on spending the rest of my life making you as happy as you've made me. Uh, <laughs> I'm going back to her anyway.